Hi, this is Mrs. La Barbara. This is Physics Chapter Three Vectors, Video Four. Today's topic is adding vectors using Pythagorean theorem. The objectives are know the condition for using Pythagorean theorem, understand the trigonometric functions of a right triangle, be able to add vectors using Pythagorean theorem and trig functions. Pythag a Pythagorean theorem relates to the relationship of sides of right triangle. A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. We call A and B the leg of the triangle. We call C the hypotenuse of the triangle. So when one we add vectors A and B that's perpendicular to each other, we can use Pythagorean theorem to find the resultant. A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. One thing you need to remember is, in order to use Pythagorean theorem, the two vectors has to be perpendicular to each other. The two vectors have to make right triangles, such as north and east, north and uh, west, south and east, south and west. Adding vectors using trig to determine direction. So we can use Pythagorean theorem to find magnitude. To find direction, we have to use trig functions. So in a right triangle, we have the three sides relative to this angle. This angle, if this angle is theta, A is adjacent. Adjacent means next to theta, B is the opposite of the theta, C is the hypotenuse. So we use so katoa. So is sine. Sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. In this case, it's B over C. Cosine theta ka adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is A over C. Tangent theta is opposite over adjacent, that is uh, B over A, so towa, opposite over adjacent. Let's use that to find the magnitude and direction of the resultants of practice A and B. So for A, you have two vectors, 10 uh, kilometers north and 5 kilometers west. The two are perpendicular to each other, so we can use Pythagorean theorem. Write the equation R equals to square root of A squared plus B squared, then we use substitute the numbers 5 kilometers squared plus 10 kilometers squared. Again, vector addition is commutative, so it doesn't matter which one goes first. R equals to 11 kilometers. Similarly for B, the two vectors are perpendicular to each other, so we can use Pythagorean theorem. You will have 50 kilometers. To find a direction, we have to find a direction at the tail of the resultant. So in this case, for a and b is this theta and theta at the tail of the vector. So what is given to you is opposite and adjacent in both cases. Opposite and adjacent, so you can use tan function. So tan equals opposite over adjacent for practice a, opposite is 5, adjacent is 10. You have 0.5 to find theta, you have to use inverse tan on your calculator. So inverse tan is second tan. That gives you 27 degrees. And for practice B, you should do the same thing. You have 53 degrees. Let's take a look at this example. A model airplane has due east at 1.5 meters per second, while the wind blows due north at 0.7 meters per second. The scale the diagram below represents these vector quantities. Determine the magnitude of the resultant velocity and determine the angle between north and the resultant velocity. We did this question before by using um, the drawings. We draw it out. The, we use a, a vector addition graphically. We can also solve this problem by using Pythagorean theorem and trig functions. To determine the magnitude, uh, first we draw it out. So as you can see, the resultant uh, is the hypotenuse. So we use the Pythagorean theorem r equals a square root of a squared plus b squared, you have 1.66 meters per second. I don't know if you remember when we did it, this problem using a graphical method, we have 1.65 meters per second. As you can see, it is a similar, close to 1.66, but using mathematical way, it is we have more accurate result. Next one, to determine the angle between north and the resultant velocity, we can use uh, um, towa, which is tangent, because we know the opposite 
which is 1.5 and adjacent is 0.7, we have 65 degrees. So in the um, previous solution, we have the same 65 degrees. Another example, a girl rides her bicycle 1.4 kilometers west and 0.7 kilometers south uh, and 0.3 kilometers east in 12 minutes. Draw a vector diagram to represent the girl's displacement in sequence. Use scale 1 centimeter equals to 0.2 kilometers. We did this question before, so uh, I draw it out already here for you. Now determine the magnitude of girl's resultant displacement for the entire bicycle trip. So before we used graphical method, we measured how long the R is, then we used the scale to determine the length of R. We can also solve this problem by using Pythagorean theorem. So Pythagorean theorem need a right triangle. It's not so obvious right away where is a right triangle. So to, you have to make your right triangle. Simply draw a dashed line over here to make your right triangle. Since this dashed line is the same as 0.7 kilograms, they are the same. You just move the line over here, basically. Then the other leg is 1.1, that, because that equals 1.4 minus 0.3. Now, when we have the two legs, we can find hypotenuse you will have 1.3 kilometers. This is similar to the answer we got. Next one, to determine the angle, the measure of this angle. We use the protractor in the previous method. We can also use trig function. Since we know the opposite and, and the adjacent, we can use tangent, uh, the inverse tan toa. You will have 32 degrees, which is similar to what we have before. But again, um, mathematical ways is much more accurate than to simply measure it out. In order to get this uh, answers correctly, you have to draw the diagram perfectly. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.